Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington. Welcome to my video this week. This week I am going to tell you how to avoid airplane acne. I am going on a plane tomorrow. I am leaving this frozen wasteland of Toronto and flying for five hours and changing three time zones. And I'm gonna land in Scottsdale, Arizona and I am going to bask in the sun, get some vitamin D and hopefully get some like color. Yes, I said color. I'm talking about sun exposure and I'm going to talk about that in another post, but on the way to get there, I am going to have to work hard to avoid what has always happened to me on airplane trips in the past when I had acne and that was airplane acne. It's a real thing, guys. It really does happen. I'm going to tell you how it happens and why it happens and finally what you can do about it. So think about an airplane. Airplanes are tough on our bodies. There's a lot going on, the change in the cabin pressure, um, all the microbes floating around, and especially the dry, dry, dry air. The air, the humidity in cabin air is probably between 4% to 20%. This is very, very dry. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. It's much drier than we're used to in our homes and in our environment. And research has shown that we're actually losing 1.5 liters of water for every three hours that we travel just by breathing and sweating. In fact, most of the humidity in the airplane is because of passenger breath and sweat, which is a little bit gross. Airplanes are a little bit gross. Let's be honest, but this dry, dry air is probably the number one reason why we get airplane acne. So what happens is this, you know, our the moisture is just sucked out of our skin. It's sucked out of our body and our skin is so smart that when it senses dryness, it produces more oil to compensate. This is really smart, but if we're prone to acne, this is not helpful because all that increased oil in our skin leads to acne because there's inflammation there, um, is what, our, what we're prone to, right? So it's really, really tough. And you know that's not the only thing that's leading to the acne, it's also all the microbes in the air. When we have more oil on our skin, the oil attracts certain microbes and that's just kind of like a little bit of a, a perfect combination for acne flare-ups. And then there's the stress of flying. And not only just being scared because we're actually in a metal tube thousands and thousands of feet above the earth, but also because we're changing time zones. And as our body changes time zones, it has to change the circadian rhythm as well. And when that happens, that's stressful on the body, that releases cortisone from the adrenal glands and it will also release DHEAS from the adrenal glands, which is an androgen, which will also contribute to the acne. So that's another reason why acne is being caused. And then of course, there's really the bad food on airplanes, which is not in line with the clear skin diet at all. So if you're eating pretzels or sandwiches or, you know, drinking, alcohol and coffee, all of this is just going to aggravate the acne. So, and then also the lack of sleep. Air travel is very tiring. Often we're getting up really early to get our flights, not getting as much sleep, and this all contributes. So as you can see, there are many reasons why air travel is so tough on our skin and can aggravate our acne. So what shall we do? to help solve this problem? How can we prevent acne from occurring? And really, um, you have to be prepared on the flight, but you also have to do some preparatory work before you start flying. And many of you know that I am not a huge proponent of exfoliation. I do love it sometimes, but constant exfoliation actually damages the skin's moisture barrier. It makes the skin more vulnerable. It makes it more prone to um, hyperpigmentation, scarring, 
itchiness, redness. We need to have a really intact and strong moisture barrier on our skin. But right before you fly is one of those times where it's good to do a little bit of exfoliation. So the night before you fly, if your skin is not too inflamed, exfoliate lightly. I like to exfoliate with some papaya. I'm at a point where I actually take out the fruit of the papaya and rub the papaya rinds on my face, the fruit side down. Leave it to dry for 10 minutes. This has an amazing exfoliating action. It takes off all the dead skin cells. If your skin is still inflamed and very, very sensitive, you may wanna combine the flesh of the papaya with a bit of raw honey and place this on your face and let it sit for 10 minutes. And this as well will exfoliate the skin, but it also is not as harsh as just the peel. It moisturizes and protects the moisture barrier a little bit. So that is step one. You must prepare, get rid of the dead skin cells because if oil production is going to be increased, we don't want to tra have it trapped in the cells because it can't get out because there's dead skin cells preventing it. We want it to just flow out of the pores, <laughs> okay? So then w just before you head to the airport, ensure that you oil cleanse your skin so it's nice and moist, add a hydrosol, and put a nice oil serum on your face to lock in that moisture. Another thing I do not want you to do, if possible, is wear makeup. I know if you have acne, this is really tough because you don't go in public without makeup. I'm actually in this camp, so if that's the case, put your makeup on, but also bring along your face, your face cloth, your microfiber cloth, and a little bit of oil cleanser because you need this once you get on the flight. Okay, so you're at the airport, be sure to hydrate lots of water before you get on the flight. Avoid caffeine, avoid alcohol, because those are very dehydrating beverages. They're going to make the problem worse. Stock up on some snacks. Once you get into the airplane, the first thing I want you to do is, if you are wearing makeup, take it off using the oil cleansing method with your damp face cloth, add some oil to it, rub off the makeup. And then, now I'm gonna share with you the three things that you need to bring on the airplane with you. And if you follow my videos, if you follow my advice, you will have these things on hand, so it's nothing new. Just make sure to transfer these products to small bottles, right? Because you can't bring large bottles on the plane. Number one is my Silver Hydrosol. Love this stuff. So antimicrobial, the first thing you do when you get on the plane, spritz a few um, you know, spritzers of this or take a teaspoon because it's just going to help protect, protect your entire system from all the microbes that you're going to encounter on the plane. The second thing that I would like you to have is a hydrosol. This is a lavender hydrosol. A rose hydrosol is really good too because it's so hydrating. And then you want to bring one of your beauty oils with you. I have a simple argan oil with me. And these are the three things that I'm going to use on the plane. So you're on the plane, your skin is clean, and in your hand you are going to combine a little bit of hydrosol, a little bit of the lavender hydrosol, sorry, a little bit of the silver hydrosol, a little bit of the floral hydrosol, and then a little bit of the oil. Mix all three together and put it on your face. Now what's happening is the silver is antimicrobial, so it's going to prevent the inflammation from microbes. The hydrosol is very hydrating, so it's going to help hydrate the skin, but because airplanes tend to suck moisture away from everything, if you put hydrosol on without the oil, the hydrosol is going to evaporate off your skin and probably take additional moisture with it. So just a hydrosol on its own can actually be dehydrating. You need to combine it with the oil so that the oil will seal it into your skin and the moisture cannot evaporate. So this is how you must do it. Every hour that you are flying, 
at put this combo on your skin. When you put this combo on your skin, your skin is not going to become dry. If your skin does not become dry, you will not produce excess oil. If you do not produce excess oil, chances are you are not going to get airplane acne. So that is how to prevent airplane acne, but you also need to drink two liters of water for every three hours that you're flying. Research has shown that when you're flying, 1.5 liters of water is taken from your body every three hours just by breathing, and just by sweating. So if you drink two liters of water every three hours, you will be fine, you will stay steady. If you wanna be even more hydrated, you can drink even more than that. And another great benefit is that you'll be going to the washroom a lot and that's great to keep your circulation moving. And of course, as I mentioned before, avoiding the, the caffeine, avoiding the alcohol, and making sure that you have some really healthy snacks with you, fruit, almonds, um, a salad with some protein, just really nourishing foods, foods that are all a part of the clear skin diet. You wanna keep those with you at all times when traveling because the options are just not friendly for your skin at all. And then finally, when you land, you wanna do another light exfoliation if your skin can take it. If your skin can't take it, just you know, rub areas that are not inflamed with the, the microfiber cloth. I put on a little bit of Clear Skin Willow Bark Serum by Eminence. I find this to be amazing. It's salicylic acid, which gets deep into your pores to help remove the oil, the dead skin cells, the bacteria. It's really effective. Um, but again, we're not exfoliating every day because we must maintain the integrity of our moisture barrier. So I hope that those tips really help you when you're traveling. Um, and of course, the only real way to get clear skin for good is by healing your body and finding balance from the inside out. For me, in my prog that program, that includes balancing the microbiome, moving the lymph, and supporting detoxification. I have an amazing seven-week program where I help you do those things step-by-step step to heal your body from the inside out so you really, truly will not have to deal with acne anymore. It's my promise to you. I'm so passionate about this. I really want to help you on your clear skin journey if acne is something that is bothering you. I've been doing this as a naturopathic doctor for over 12 years. I know this stuff. Believe me, I've seen it. So check out my program. If you're on YouTube, link is below. Otherwise, check out my Facebook or my webpage at naturopathicbeauty.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I give great skincare tips every single day and I wanna help you on your clear skin journey. So, let me. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Have a great week. The next time you hear from me, I will be in sunny Arizona, hopefully with a little bit of color and um, the sun will be making me so happy. I'll be in a really good mood. Not that I'm not now, but I'll be even happier. <laughs> So have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye.